Hello everybody, welcome to Edu Media YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to reliable and useful educational information. In this video, we're going to look at what happens on election day, what happens when you get to your polling station, who should you go to and what should you do. All these questions will be answered in this very video. Election is a process that is characterized with several activities such as registration of voters, exhibition of the provisional register, and so on and so forth. Despite being a process that begins with pre-election activities, the administration of elections and the actual voting process define the integrity of the electoral process. Therefore, what we do as individuals when we get to the election center is very important in ensuring that the voting process is followed and hence promoting the integrity of the vo voting process and the entire commission. Now before you get to your polling station, it is recommended that you take along your nose mask, if you can, take along a hand sanitizer and don't forget your voter's ID card. To ensure orderly conduct of the poll at the polling station, the polling station and its environs are classified as restricted areas. Nonetheless, some selected persons are allowed in the polling station and its environs. So at the polling station, you are likely to see political party agents, election observers, accredited journalists, presiding officer, and security officer. All these people are there to facilitate and make easy the election process. Upon arrival at the polling station, you join the queue if there's any. If there's no queue, you move to the COVID-19 officer. This officer will direct you to wash your hand with soap and the running water. The officer will also check your temperature using the thermometer gun and also ensure that there's a minimum distance of one meter between voters in the queue. After all these checks with the COVID-19 ambassador, you will be prompted to move to the next officer. This is the name reference list officer. Every voter is expected to carry their voter ID card or voter registration slip to the polling station to facilitate the identification. In the absence of the card, maybe due to damage or loss, your name can be traced from the name reference list provided you are able to mention the exact name used during the registration. First, this officer will examine your fingers for traces of electoral stain to ascertain that you haven't already voted. If a stain is not found, then the name reference list officer will continue to process you for the next stage. The name reference list officer will search for your name in the name reference list with the help of your name. If your name is in the name reference list, this officer will communicate to the verification officer the page number and column in the main voters register where your details can be found. You are then prompted to the next officer. Note that the name reference list officer will tick beside your name in the name reference list to indicate that you have been attended to. The verification officer will flip directly to the page number and column as indicated by the name reference list officer and locate your details. He will then check the details in the register for resemblance of the photograph in the register to your face. If the verification officer is convinced that you are the right person, he will use the biometric verification device to scan the QR code in the register and then request you to put a finger on the fingerprint scanner of the device. If the verification device matches your fingers, the device will give an indication on the screen and an audio output that you are verified. In the event of the BVD failing to verify you with your fingerprint, you will be verified using the facial recognition. Where both fingerprint and facial recognition verification fail, you will be verified manually to vote. Upon verification by the BVD, the verification officer will then apply an indelible ink to the left of your little finger and then direct you to the presidential ballot paper issuer. 
at this desk the ballot issuer will issue you with only the presidential ballot paper before the officer hand over the ballot paper to you he will validate it by stamping the back of the ballot paper and then direct you to the voting screen to cast your vote after time printing on the ballot paper in the voting screen remember to fold the ballot paper vertically first and then horizontally this is to ensure that a time print made for one candidate does not spill over to the column of another candidate which will render the ballot paper rejected you are then directed to the presidential ballot box to cast your ballot the next and final officer to move to is the parliamentary ballot paper issuer at this desk the ballot issuer will issue you with only the parliamentary ballot paper similar to the presidential ballot paper the officer will validate the ballot paper by stamping the back of the ballot paper and then direct you to the voting screen to cast your vote after time printing on the ballot paper in the voting screen remember to fold the ballot paper vertically first and then horizontally this is to ensure that a time print made for one candidate does not spill over to the column of another candidate which will render the ballot paper rejected you are then directed to the parliamentary ballot box to cast your ballot after casting your ballot you can then exit the polling station this is all that is in the voting process it is imperative that we all take notice of these steps in order to facilitate the work of the election officials and also fasten the process of voting this is all that i have for you in this video i hope you like it if you do please hit the like button please share this video to anyone that will benefit from it especially now that the election is getting closer and if you are new to the channel please subscribe subscribe and subscribe i will really appreciate your subscription in our next video we're going to look at issues around the proxy voting list what it is and how to do proxy voting we'll go ahead and explain terms such as exception list early voters list and absent voters list so for all of that and more i'll see you in the next video